What up, Ghetto Mites? Welcome to another episode of Ghetto Bites. <laughs> and today, I didn't feel like cooking. So, I have hot ham and cheese, which is probably not hot anymore. I got a mushroom Swiss burger. And I got some fries. I got some... My old trusty 64 ounce. I got some water. We're gonna put some ketchup on these fries. And let's get to eating. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this food that you have allowed me to receive. I ask that it be nourishing to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Good uh, night. <clears throat> Super high anymore. But it was okay. Right. Still cold. It is not cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm great. I can just have what I want. Mm. Uh, there you go. I'm hungry to go. Alright. A little chicken sandwich from Checkers. Let's get into this back up. Pretty good. Got mushrooms on it. That's a double burger. So is it any Wu Tang fans out there? I'm asking the girl. Excuse me. I used to be a real big Wu Tang fan.
And now, they have like this show that come on Hulu. I forgot what it's called. Wu Tang something, but it's good. I've been watching it. It come out every Wednesday. And it's been good. And actually, I see the Wu Tang. Got like a documentary to come on, Showtime. They got something that's on Amazon Prime video. And I think they got something on Netflix, if I'm not mistaken. The Wu Tang is everywhere. And if you don't know who the Wu Tang is, it's a rap group from back in the 90s and the 2000s where they have group members by the name of Method Man. Old Dirty Bastard, The Rizza, The Jizza, Ghostface Killer, uh, Raekwon, The Chef. It was plenty, plenty of them. Inspect the Dick. I mean, there's so many of them. But they made awesome music. So if you're a Wu-Tang fan, check them out. And also, talk about television shows but also if you are American Horror Story fan my show coming back out on the 18th and it's geared around like old slasher movies, like 1980s slasher movies, like Friday the 13th and Michael Myers and Nightmare on Elm Street, stuff like that. I don't know about nobody else, but I'm excited. American Horror Story. Anybody who know me know I've been a big American Horror Story fan from the beginning. Well, I can't say from the beginning because I caught American Horror Story the second season of Saint Asylum. So after I watched it, I had to go back and watch Horror House. I'm looking for. Maybe I shouldn't talk, I should just eat. But, anywho, I had to go back. And watch Horror House 
horror house, whatever. And then I waited for season three, which is my favorite season. My favorite, favorite season of them all. Even though I like them all. But Coven, that's the one. That's the one right there. And I have my favorite mm -hmm. the line from Angela Bassett. In When Jessica Lane unburied Kathy Bates. And it was told to Angela Bassett that Kathy Bates was unearthed. And she said, when I bury a fat white woman, I expect her to stay buried. Not come up like some dang on ragweed. <laughs> oh, that was epic. That line was epic. I don't know about y'all. But I got several favorite lines in movies. And I want to see if any of y'all can guess. I'm full of y'all. Oh I can't eat them all. But I want to see if any of y'all can guess. Maybe I should bring it back. But no, I ain't got greedy. But I guess it's my turn. From what movie? You think it's from? And it's one of my favorite movies too. And a line of something goes. That if you still feel raw about it, I'll be waiting. I know y'all ain't gonna guess that. Cause that's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite movies. Or um if you know this line. No, don't do that. I ain't gonna call a person name because then y'all know. No, don't do that. I just go and insult him when I know he tried. Let me know where that line is from. And then, Oh, excuse me. Let me know if y'all know this line from what movie. And it says, You can't have her not now and not ever. 
You can have the other one though. She spoiled twice. Y'all got to know that boy. Y'all have to know that boy. Those are lines from three of my favorite, favorite, favorite movies. So if you know them, comment down below. And maybe I'll bring up some other things because at my job, or in my line of work, I deal with a lot of people that's kind of younger than me. And they don't know things. Like, a young lady was getting some braids. And I said, Girl, look at you over there looking like Patra. And she looked at me like, yeah, you must don't know who Patrick is. And she was like, no. She was like 28. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just old. But they probably don't know who Punky Brewster is. If you don't know who Punky is, I know you don't know who Webster or Arnold is. Or Alf. I'm sure of that. I don't know. You just wasn't born when good TV was around. Cause I don't know. I feel like when I was a kid, we got the good cartoons. Alright. That Thundercats. Hey man, come on now. The super friends. Mr. T had a cartoon. Kid and Play had a cartoon. MC Hammer had a cartoon. Then there used to be this one cartoon called Rubik's Cube. I think it used to be exciting. G.I. Joe. Had a cartoon. Come on now. Where y'all at? I need to know. Where y'all at? Y'all don't have good TV. Y'all don't have good TV. Like my kids now. They don't have stuff like... The facts of life. Y'all remember that? Y'all don't have stuff like different strokes or good times or something to that effect. Ugh, excuse me. Ugh. I'm just saying. I'm rambling on. But I'm just saying, we had good TV way back in the early 80s. We had good TV. Good TV, good cartoons, you know, decent shows. Like my mama used to watch stuff like Dynasty and Falcon's Crest and Dallas and stuff like that. That used to 
be like nighttime soap operas. No, we had good music back in the day. Now that the music, I don't understand it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Am I old? I need to know. I'm 40. And I don't got time for that mess. But I need to know, am I old? Because they got all this mumble, jumbo stuff that they be listening to at the shop. And I don't know what they be talking about. I be lost. See, back in the day, my mama used to, and my dad used to listen to stuff like Frankie Beverly and Maze and Anita Baker and Patti LaBelle and Gladys Knight and the Pips, you know, Teddy Pentagrass, things of that nature. You know, like, now people don't even know who they are. I'm lost, but it is what it is. All right, y'all. Comment, like, and subscribe. I got to go. Comment, like, and, you know, comment, like, and subscribe. Share if you care about your boy. Share. I love you for sharing. Also, if you're looking for a church home, you know I cannot end the video without saying this if you're looking for a church home and you are in the kenosha and racine area and you're looking for a church hallelujah glory to god please come check out axe family worship center at 5707 7th avenue kenosha wisconsin come check us out the spirit has been really, 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 really resting in that place. Amen. Come check us out. Also, if you are in the Milwaukee area, go and you're looking for a church home or you're looking to visit a church, go check out Greater Bethlehem Temple at 222 East Center Street. Okay. I love you with the love of the Lord. Now it's time to say goodbye. To all my ghetto mites, G H E T T O M I T E S. I forgot. Sorry. Long day. Long day. Long day. Long day. Long day. Long day. <laughs> oh, my bad. I digressed. But I love you with the love of the Lord. Until the next video, I'll see you then.